Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video and in today's video we're going to go through the biggest headlines in the space now if you're invested in crypto you're not going to want to miss this one there's some predictions there's some truth tellers out there influencers telling the truth those are the sorts of influencers you wish to follow and we're going to dig into you know my thoughts and opinions on what they've got to say but they are talking truth they are talking facts and um yeah look i really uh do appreciate when people are getting shit right um and you know some of these people i've been calling out for the nonsense that they've been speaking the lies that they know they are telling their own community so um we're going to dig into all that wonderful stuff if you enjoy this sort of content mash up the like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tap in that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video right let's get down to the desktop okay so we can start here on coin market cap now apparently they've added trending or top gainer to the uh, list for coin market i like the upgrades perfect um, but bitcoin is at twenty seven thousand three hundred and seventy four sixty one. um the whole market is down 0 0.50 percent at the time of recording at 1.08 trillion dollars and um, yeah, look, the market is volatile at the moment. It can't decide whether it wants to go up or whether it wants to go down. Um, but look, I'm expecting some more downside and we're going to get into, you know, some of this stuff in this video. So um, look, let's go take a look at um, what uh, Roll Poll has to, to say. He's talking about macro uh, factors to spark the next crypto bull market in quarter two, 2024. Real Visions Roll Paul uh, says the macro uh, factors will play a dominant role in sparking the next bull market, which should start in Q2 2024, according to, to this guy. And uh, look, this is somebody that I've been calling out because he has been talking absolute nonsense, talking about, you know, the market is bullish. This was a while back and, uh, you know, talking about liquidity being the driver and, you know, the, there's liquidity in the market and there really hasn't been. Um, but look, um, this is something that, aligns um somewhat with my thoughts and opinions in the respect that the, you know the macro factors are going to be what kicks off this uh, next bull market now i've been quite vocal in my views and my opinions that actually when we ex yeah we expect if i can get my words out a fed pivot now when that happens we expect an almighty crash both in crypto and in stocks uh, and that is going to be uh, when we start to see the uh, end of the bear market and go into the uh, bull market now i'm not suggesting that that's necessarily a lower low because as in uh, as stated by uh, roll poll uh, himself uh, price predictions um you know basically you, you get battered over a head with a with a stick if you get it wrong um i can't find it in here but it is it is here um yeah he wants to avoid making predictions given that you get beat over the head by people for not getting them right and you know look he's 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 true he's honest when it comes to that if you have a prediction and you get it wrong people are screenshotting it they're wanting to tell you uh, that you were wrong um uh, you know we had this when we've called every single bottom this year now um what I would say is, um, you know, we got all of those right, but we were getting hit over the stick before they actually came to fruition, right? Um, now, I'm not sure about Q2. Like, I, I'm kind of not really wanting to put, you know, a, a quarter on when we should expect the um, the bull market to start. But, you know, uh, between now and Q2, I'm expecting lower prices. I want to be clear on that. Uh, I expect the, the Fed to do the pivot. I expect the, the crash to happen. I think we're going to be down there uh, short-lived. Uh, and I think, you know, um, institutional players are going to probably buy up a lot of that dip. Uh, so look, I've got a bit of money on the side. Uh, this is not financial advice. Uh, treat this as educational purposes only. Go away, do your own research. But, you know, we don't do pay promotions. We don't talk nonsense here. We tell you facts. We tell you how we see it. And, um, you know, we get a lot of it right. 
you know, we might get some of it wrong, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that as long as, you know, you're keeping people safe in the space. I don't want to be that guy that's telling people that, you know, you should buy now. Um, you know, we're, we're going to be heading into the bull market, you know, and all that sort of nonsense. And then, you know, see the prices come down lower. I'd rather be honest and upfront and tell you that I'm expecting some lower prices. So look, this is, um, you know, the way we, we see it. Um, I do agree that it won't be the uh, Bitcoin halving that causes this this uh, movement to, to the upside, like a lot of people are telling you. I think as time goes on, it has less and less impact. And um, ultimately, I think that it will be the macro environment that moves the market into the bull run, right? And, um, you know, I align with that, with what's being said here from that standpoint um you know just watch out for that fed pivot moving on we've got uk won't copy uh mica crypto uh parliamentary group chair speaking at the ccdas 2023 the mp said that the uk is uh, exploring a bespoke approach to crypto regulation look for me, um, the UK are getting a lot of it wrong at the moment. Uh, the FCA, with their marketing rules, we're now seeing uh, projects and companies leave the UK. This is not positive and uh, is a real shame. They want to be a crypto hub, but they're making it impossible for people to, to operate here. You know, I think that there's better ways to, to do things. But that's just my thoughts, my opinions. You can let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. We've got billionaire-backed Hong Kong crypto VC pours $100 million into blockchain fund. Uh, the Titan fund, um, uh, Titan fund, I should say, will focus on early stage startups in gaming, metaverse and NFTs and will prioritize equity investments rather than uh, digital assets. Now, look, my thoughts and opinions on this is this is probably a bad bad idea like um if the fund is really going to be pouring money into gaming metaverse and nfts they are probably the highest risk sectors in my opinion uh they clearly um are not like as as uh good as perhaps people think they are when it comes to, to making investments like for me i'll be looking at a real world use case uh, rather than you know going into you know some of the most challenging markets or sectors in the crypto space gaming really challenging to get right um, i do think that it's going to be a fantastic sector but you know there's a lot of games that fail right same with metaverse there's a lot of metaverse projects that will go to zero and nfts well look nfts at the moment are not like uh, where they really need to be we're we're very early so look um I, I probably wouldn't be going into this fund. That's kind of my thoughts and opinions. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. We got um, Kraken now. Um, if we get it up on the screen, Kraken to acquire Dutch crypto uh, broker BMC. Uh, further commitments uh, to growing European business. A so really interesting stuff. We got um, crypto wallet maker Ledger to lay off twelve percent of staff. The firm lays off 12% of the workforce. Um, and again, look, uh, macro headwinds are, are limiting the company's ability to generate revenues. You know, search search volumes are down, right? Everybody's feeling the pinch. Um, you know, we're going to see a lot of projects. I've talked about this. We're going to see lots of projects in this last sort of uh, phase of the bear market, you know, run out of runway, run out of money and potentially, you know, uh, close their doors. And uh, these are going to be legitimate companies, not, you know, rug pulls, but they will be accused of being rug pulls. Now, I'm not suggesting Ledger is, you know, one of those projects. I really don't think it will be. Um, but, you know, I just want to highlight what, what I believe is happening, right? Um, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, really interested to, to know. Uh, I do think that, you know, we're going to see some, some crypto projects fail. Uh, banks would have to disclose crypto holdings under new... BIS plans. Uh, again, banking uh, supervision previously recommended capital constraints to uh, basically wall off TradeFi uh, from the likes of uh, Bitcoin and Ether. But these these um, you know movements are are changing, right? And uh, look, I think everybody's gonna have to 
you know declare their holdings uh, when it comes to to businesses and uh banking and uh you know custodians and, and all that sort of stuff exchanges i think that you know the regulations are going to be uh bring in like a real air of safety into the space stuff that's needed look traditional banking haven't got it quite right if i was a regulator i'd be doing far more you know if anybody wants to put me forward for it like i'm more than happy to you know have a an advisory role on how to actually um you know regulate the traditional banking sector i would be quite happy to support with that but you know it would mean that anybody that's making fraudulent money out of uh, banking or government would uh, ultimately uh, all be uh, taking a reduction in the amount of revenue that they steal from the everyday person just to to you know uh, give everybody an fyi on that um why some crypto firms are suspending services in the uk we've already seen buy bit uh, yeah, you heard me right. Bybit have suspended some of their services in the UK. PayPal have recently withdrawn certain services from the UK as well. Uh, you got Luna has halted some UK uh, clients from investing in crypto just ahead of tough new promotion rules for crypto firms coming into effect on the 8th of October. This is a terrible, um, I guess, uh, policy from the FCA and um you know we're seeing businesses leave we're seeing the uk residents suffer um you know because of it and uh yeah it sucks and i need to be really clear on that it definitely sucks and uh hopefully um they they realize where they've gone wrong and they correct it quickly uh, and i did say that i'd expect some of these um yeah i would expect some of these uh, regulations and uh, policies to you know these companies to get it wrong these regulators to get it wrong and uh, i think that's what we're seeing here and i do expect a, 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 a i guess a revision to to this uh, over time it's kind of my thoughts and opinions um it'd be interesting to see whether that happens we've got cardano stablecoin project gambled away investors money before rug according to reports ardana claimed to be creating a stable coin platform on cardano but new evidence suggests that it lost most of the, the investors money uh, in bad crypto trades. And look, um, it's very difficult to, um, you know, see these rug pulls and these terrible projects and what they're doing uh, early. Right. Um, you know, this looked like a pretty legitimate project, um, but there were you know red flags with some of the people involved in this project so you know you've got to look at that stuff it's really important to look at the team see what their history is like cardano's ada or ada iog introduces x page for midnight sidechain this is the privacy focused uh, sidechain project by cardano uh, this is the one that we did an interview with charles about go check out the uh, interview uh, it is on the channel it's fantastic and he goes through you know being able to mask and unmask um you know uh the the data on the blockchain so really interesting stuff really do think that this is going to be a phenomenal project one to definitely research if you haven't heard about it no one's prepared for the massive cardano xrp and binance coin correction according to this analyst uh data dash um you know is told the 512,000 YouTube subscribers that the decline in market liquidity could send these projects to much lower prices. Now, I've talked about the fact that I do expect lower prices. I align to this. This is a truth teller. There's very few truth tellers out on YouTube. Us, Data Dash, clearly, um, you know, and uh, yeah, another channel that I really do rate. I just want to put that out there. Um, you know, it's good that we're seeing people being honest, being transparent about what they expect to happen in the coming weeks and months. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything that we've covered today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. What I would also say is we have got a private sale that is live until Saturday p.m. Go check it out. There's a, it's a layer two uh, project. Uh, um, it's, it's a privacy layer two scaling solution for Ethereum definitely worth, uh, worth uh, doing some research on all the details are in the discord link in the description free to join uh, if you haven't subscribed already subscribe tap that bell select all the notifications so you never miss a video and i will catch you in the next one take care <laughs>